Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 17 of Direwolf20's Dungeons and Dragons and Space Shuttles Let's Play series. Uh, doing a little bit of be between episode work uh, at the moment. Uh, knocked out a couple quests, specifically around solar panels, was also kind of taking a peek at some of the future quests that we have available to us. Uh, let's see here, we've got uh, all kinds of stuff going on today. Uh, I'd like to continue along the main quest line, I think, and see where that leads us. So clearly... Um, just looking at like the symbols on things, it looks like um, this section here is going to lead us to the next chapter, and maybe this one. I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about you know what this bottle of magic compound quest leads to, but I guess we'll check that out too. Uh, so we completed uh, this nifty little quest here. Sweet, got me another Mark One Solar, huh? Mm, considering whether I want to take advantage of that for 11 more. Uh, iron. Maybe. Maybe. We might want to do something about that. It gave me a Mark 1 solar, so I could bump it up to a Mark 2 pretty easily. It's not too hard to upgrade. Uh, the other thing I wanted to get was more of this stuff. Hammer, big pliers, and gem cutter, huh? Hammer, big pliers, and gem cutter. I want another one of those big pliers. What are they called again? Pliers. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, just a little bit of string. I think I should have everything I need for that. Yeah, I do. Nice. Oh, yeah. And what do we need in the middle there? Uh, silicone. Okay. Yeah, just need to remember, like, which one needs silicone and which one needs super glue. Sweet. Excellent. Nice. All right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and throw this 11 in there, and that should be all I need. Uh, actually, three more. If my math is correct on everything. Uh, that, and yeah, we're pretty good. So I just need three more mirrors, which needs um, one iron plate each, and then the 11 iron plates. Cool. Check out this cool thing I discovered. Um, Engineer's Workshop. There's a lot of recipes for basic control circuits, as you can see. If we use mana steel in place of electrotene, which is annoying to make, by the way, electrotene is annoying to make, mana steel is very easy to make, we get twice as many basic control circuits. How cool is that? Learned that a little bit between episodes. Now, if we want to throw platinum at it, we can get five, right, per craft, but I don't know that I want to waste platinum on something like that. So, uh, we won't. What it comes down to, basically. Uh, did I really burn up all my glass? I might have. I might have burned up all my glass. That's very possible. Uh, I did a lot of mining between episodes, by the way. I am loving, loving my new hammer. And and, and I went ahead and added um, mana to my pick as well, which I'm also loving. Loving it. It's super good. It is so cool. Uh, the only downside is I don't have enough mana. That's really it. That's really what it comes down to, is I do not have enough mana. I need to make more. So you might notice over here, I did a little bit of uh, other work. I, I threw some hydrangeas down. I've been throwing coal at this thing, but we're gobbling up our coal faster than you can even imagine. Like, I mean, we're just burning through it. So I think one of the next upgrades I'm gonna put on my hammer and pick is the unbreaking uh, uh, thingy. <clears throat> so that it, it basically doesn't take as much damage at least, and that should help. So now that I picked that up, notice my tools on my hotbar are repairing themselves. Awesome. How great is that, huh? Super cool. So 100% recommend the mana thing to keep your tools fully repaired, right? And uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right, so we're, we're setting up solar panels. Uh, I want to just get some passive power production, right? Um, the canola oil is actually doing really nice for us. And I think I'll probably want to go the empowered canola oil route um, to keep to keep the base powered in, in a major way. But, you know, obviously having a little bit of solar power doesn't hurt nothing. Uh, so a few solar panel Mark IIs is probably going to be good for the long run, right? What I'll do is break this guy because where is my where's my shovel? There we are. Okay. So what I'm going to do, um, and then my wrench, I don't want you two connecting, 
because I don't want any kind of power loop. Okay, and then how's this feel? Pretty cool. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. Now there's slots in there, which makes me really wonder what that's for. Stored, light level, awesome. Solar Flux Reborn, huh? Solar Flux Reborn. So there's upgrades. Efficiency upgrade. I guess transfer rate, capacity, machine traversal, dispersive, block charging. That's cool. Furnace upgrade. Neat. All right. Good stuff. Ow. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you've got a box on your head of some kind. That doesn't give you any rights to attack me. Thank you very much. And throw weakness my way. <laughs> hey, guess what else I made is a lumber axe between episodes. That was a good time. Totally excited to have a lumber axe. I've got so much junk in that in that backpack too. Like I really should consider cleaning it out. But we'll see. One of these days we'll get it done. Uh, I don't know what to do with you, so I'm just going to throw you away. All right, so today's episode, right, now that we've uh, put down some solar panels, done a few other cool things, let's get to work. Um, oh, I got a lapis lazuli chest plate, huh? I'll throw that into my, my, my thing over here. I'm going to clean up my inventory real quick, and then we'll be ready to start doing cool things. So seed oil is something that we need to get, um, and it's, it's, it's from the squeezer, obviously. Uh, we made a squeezer an episode or two back, but we never actually did anything with it. Uh, and I think that time is a coming. Uh, I'm just debating how I want to lay out this room now. Because obviously I kind of tossed down these machines. But uh, I guess a squeezer would be cool. Now please don't steal your adjacent refined canola oil. That would be super, super, super annoying if you did that. Um, so... I made my squeezer last episode. Now you want me to make a seed oil cane. Uh, so it's basically any seeds, I presume, right? Uh, and I, I also am going to go ahead and assume, right, that uh, the other thing here, can I add seed oil to the A list? I can. That's awesome. Um, is we're going to get different amounts based on the type of seed that we get, right? That's cool. Um, so, so what seeds do we have access to? Pumpkin seeds or 10 millibuckets, right? Is there anything like legitimately cool peanuts i remember being pretty good yeah i remember peanuts being nice for seed oil remember that from i think it was enigmatica 2 we did that we used peanuts for seed oil have we gotten any peanuts yet uh because that would be awesome peanut we do have peanut seeds nice so what if we grabbed that and i think we've got some bone blocks here that we found in the nether at one point or another Hey, don't you turn into bones? You have a lot of uses, but you should really be turning into bones. How do I turn you into bone dust? I got that with the excitement of being able to turn it into bone dust. Don't tell me I can't. <laughs> I grabbed that bone and I was like, yes, lots and lots of bone dust. Um, well, that ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. Bone meal, please. Is there, is there no good way to do this? Womp womp. That's a sad. Oh well, guess I'll just uh, pulverize up some bones for some bone meal. But, you know, you get the idea. We, we probably won't need too much of this because what I'll probably wind up doing is just uh, sticking this thing somewhere. For now, we're just going to plop one down because I've got a lot of seeds that I've been planting lately and need to deal with. But that'll get me some semblance of peanuts that we can then make into the seed oil that we want. Um, I'm not sure if I need this cotton line anymore, to be honest with you. I might regret breaking that, but we'll find out. Uh, let's do this. Thank you. Put you away. And... This is the part where you plant. There you go. One, two, three. And I'll harvest all these good crops while I'm here. One of these days, I'll automate this farm. Hopefully not too far off from much automation, because you guys know me. That's that's what I like to do. 
But I'm really actually kind of enjoying the, the early days pack play uh, that Dungeons and Dragons mod pack has. Because there's just, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff to do in this early game day. And I think it'll make it so that when we do get up to uh, the future where we can have all kinds of fancy and advanced stuff, we'll appreciate it a little bit more, right? We'll be like, oh yeah, now I can automate, hooray! Sometimes the packs were like, you have access to like easy automation early on. Like as much as I love automation, like that easy early automation that like, as soon as you get, it's like, uh, you, kind of, you kind of run through that early game stages. Like I really like the packs where you progress, right? Where it's like, you start off with like nothing, like almost every pack does, but then you have to slowly progress through the, through the tech, right? And get to the point where you can do cool things. When you can just like all of a sudden have access to like amazing stuff early game. Like, yeah, that's fun. But then you very quickly burn out because it's like, I did all the automation and stuff, like really quickly, right? And it just, eh, it's not as fun. My opinion, right? Your mileage may vary. So that's going to be one bucket's worth of seed oil here pretty quickly, right? And that's a quest complete. Nice. Okay. That gets me another seed oil cell and some melons for some reason. Might be a hint, right? That melons would be a nice uh, way to go. I'll just turn them into seeds and throw them into my chest. Pretty sure I have melon seeds already. I do. So I'm not too worried about that, but that's cool. We'll deal with the loot bags and a lot of stuff later. So uh, a still and a magma crucible are the routes to next. I'd like to see what the still looks like. So here's what I think I'm going to do, right? Um, I think I'm going to kind of knock out these three quests all together, right? So we'll make the still, right? We'll make the magma crucible. Assuming I can, I'm, I'm assuming I can. And the Energizer, right? So this is a bunch of crafting that I'm gonna do off camera and we'll come back in a minute once I've done it all. Does that sound like a fair plan? I think so. Um, so yeah, I'll do all the boring crafting stuff off camera and we'll come right back to see what's next. All right guys, we are outside playing with Liquid Crystalline, uh, which Liquid Crystalline comes from melting down rubies, sapphires, or peridots. Things we've been finding while we've been mining a lot. Uh, I need seven buckets of, wow, I got a four bucket tank for that, didn't I? Good job, direwolf. Why would you do that? I don't know, I'm some kind of genius. Wood tank, we'll get another wood tank. Uh, I didn't actually make that wood tank specifically for this purpose, I had that wood tank from before. Uh, that was sitting out there, remember? So we'll just make another one, because uh, it's four per, so we'll just use a second. And that should be cool. I'll tell you what this is for in a moment. Uh, I, I was in the middle of crafting, right? I was like, I'm going to do all this off-camera work, make all these fancy things. And I had to make a bunch of plates. And I had already recently just made a bunch of plates. And I'm like, man, it takes a really long time to make iron plates, right? The compactor's doing a great job. I ain't going to complain too much about the compactor. But, you know, he's slow. He's not what I would call fast. And I'm like, I wonder if I can speed him up. Right, so I decided to look into whether that's doable. Uh, and the answer is yes. It's a little bit of effort and a little bit of resources, but you know what, I think in the long run, it'll be nice just to speed things up a smidge, right? It's not gonna be a huge amount of speed up, but it's gonna be a little bit of a speed up and that'll be, that'll be nice, right? Um, so I uh, hammered out some Invar plates and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I should have everything I need. I need the driver and the spanner. Ooh, what's a spanner? I don't think we found one of those before. So there's your driver. What's a spanner? That's a new one for me. Sweet. All right, cool, I can pull that off. Uh, spanner, I think that's new for me, right? Isn't that new for me? Hooray, cool. And we're gonna need one, two, three. Uh, buckets of this, I believe. And we have an in-bar kit. Nice. Which means we can upgrade this dude. Awesome. And then I said, hey, obviously if I'm going to make an in-bar kit, I want to make an augment. Whew, that's a lot. Five, six gold plates, some glass pipes, and a profiling bench. All right, this one I didn't see. All right, maybe not. We might not be making a profiling bench right now. Could I make a profiling bench? Probably. It doesn't look like there's anything in there I couldn't make right now. Inferium ingots, I mean, that's doable. That's doable. Profiling bench from the rock hounding mod. Interesting. All right, well, I mean, at the very least, that'll speed things up for me. And I can hang on to these other components uh, in preparation for making that in the future. Why don't we do that? And I'm gonna get back to the things that I'm actually making. So back in a minute. 
Keep in mind, though, obviously, upgrading this guy definitely increases his speed just by giving him the Invar upgrade. His speed is faster, so this was still worth doing. All right, I think I've got everything I need for a Magma Crucible. Hooray, quest complete. And now I'm working on the still. So I need another motor and another bucket. I should, okay, it didn't give me back my bucket, that's why. I can make that happen. Okay, so this, and then you guys should be done, which means you should be good to make two buckets for me. Two buckets for me, methane gas. Hammer, big pliers, and the burner. Burner, hammer, big pliers. Needs another hammer. Cool. And while I'm at it, let's combine these two durabilities. And that should be even better. Sweet. All right, so that should be the still. Uh, iron plates. Didn't I have enough iron plates? Did I use them? Too many iron plates? Oh, I might have used them for something else. One sec. Oh, hey, look at that. A still. Woohoo! All right, cool. And then uh, the kinetic dynamo, I just need uh, four iron rods and two copper gears, All right? So we just do... See, I knew I had more iron plates. Derp. Dire derp, please. Two of you. And then I need those coils that I think we made uh, a little bit ago. That's awesome that they're already made. Nice, cool. And is that the last? That's for the kinetic dynamo. Yeah, I guess I'll make that too while I'm here, right? A little bit more passive RF generation wouldn't hurt anybody. Uh, and then the only other thing I wanted to make besides that was the energizer, right? Um, so that would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and Yori plates. Maybe we can pull that off. Do we have any on Yori's already? I don't think so. We'll cook them up real quick. Hey, didn't you, uh... There you go. Thank you. And then, uh, what else do we need there? Two more silicon plates, four of Estonia crystals. Actually, I have two silicon plates already, so I'll take it. Cool. And then, uh, that's not bad. Just an advanced coil, which is two basic coils. So that's going to be 10. Just trying to math it all out properly. And four. Did I get those? Remember, if you right click something, it activates that magnet, which sucks stuff right into your inventory. And that's a good time. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, so that should be... I want an energizer because it'll give me access to like charge chargeable items and that would be neat, All right? So you just need some gold now. Actually, I have gold on me, so that should be good. Sweet, all right, now we're making progress. So I just need this thing, electro silicon, which is eight silicon. Is that really the best way to do it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Or eight electro teen around the silicon. Cool. And smelt that thing up super quick. Should be nice and easy. And by now these should be done, which means that we should be good to make this. Nice, look at all those quests we knocked out real quick off camera. All right, so our first still got us a green slime block. Okay, that's neat. Sure, I'll take that, I guess. Um, our magma crucible got us some stuff, including a little bit of food, which I'll take. And then uh, our energizer got us ooh, a simple PCB, not bad. All right, let me do a little bit of cleanup and then we'll uh, progress. All right, so cooking oil is a liquid introduced by Freebie. It is mainly used to produce several food items in the kitchen workshop. High-end food requires large quantities of cooking oil and are not only used to saturate, but also need to build saturation modules and triviation chambers. Cool. Cooking oil is more efficient than olive oil. Neat. So I think we didn't really do much with the whole uh, quest surrounding uh, cooking yet, but you know. 
So I guess I just put that in there and it and it and it distills. I, I can only assume that's the way it works, right? Yeah, still seed oil to cooking oil. Okay, cool. Easy, one to one. Nice. Seems good enough to me. And the quest is just to get one cell of that. Okay, not bad. Now you also want me to get an induction smelter. Hey, guess who already got one of those? Your buddy Dyer. That's who. So let me just get you induction smelter. Hooray! That's cool. Quest complete. Ooh, I'll definitely take some blocks of coal. You know why? Because I always need more coal. Right now, coal is like a super important resource for me, strictly because I'm using it for so much mana production. Right? Um, it's, it's, it's pretty important. And I've also been harvesting these things as much as I can, because uh, while I haven't gotten really to these quests yet, you know you just you need you need as much of this as you can get, right? Like that's how this mod works. Cool. All right. Hooray! Cooking oil. Nice. Well, that's not too shabby. All right. Uh, let's see. So, also continuing along the have to complete quests in order to clear out uh, tier one main quest line. Let's make a single battery. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, let's do that. All right, battery time. Boom. Easy peasy. Nice. So, with that taken care of, right, that quest is good. That gets me another advanced coil. So, you can do the energy extractor, basic energy cube. Ooh, that's mechanism, isn't it? Uh, Enervator. Double batteries, right? These are all optional because they don't have that fancy little symbol on them, right? So the item laser relay, that seems to be required to make. Okay, I guess I can make two of these. At least I'll make two at a time. That doesn't look too bad. All right, let's get that going real quick. All right, a little bit of obsidian and uh, we should be cool, right? Along with a silicone cell, which I had to smelt up. Boom, easy peasy. Yeah, I get my obsidian back, too. Hooray! Saves me eight seconds of mining. Booyah! All right, nice, 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 nice. So are we getting close? Oh, man, you want me to do the fluid laser and the energy laser? All right, I'll make these two real quick off camera as well. Hopefully they're not terrible to make. They don't look too bad. Uh, the red energy laser relay, by the way, is pretty nice wireless power transfer, right? Kind of wireless. Um... So maybe that'll be useful in this pack. It's been a while since I've messed with it. Um, and I don't think we have flux networks, right? So we don't have that for easy wireless power transfer. So the laser is not a bad way to go. All right, two fluid lasers. Quest complete. Hooray, give me that stuff. Cause I'm sure I'm gonna need it for the red energy laser. Nice. All right, cool. So to make you, uh, boop, boop, off, you on. We're gonna need a red laser lens, which I don't know if we have. I feel like I've made the red glass before. Haven't I made the red glass before? I know I did lime. Didn't I do red? I did do red. Nice. That's nice, nice, nice. Okay. And uh, that makes life a little bit easier, right? Because now I just have to do this. Oh, we're, we're out of iron again. I'm burning through all my stuff, but we're also doing a really nice job of getting towards some automation, hopefully. All right, two more silicon plates. Oh good, I have some. Nice, nice. What am I missing here? Just some obsidian and another advanced coil. Be right back. Okay, should be good. Uh, you and my silicon friend. Or not. Uh, do you need two silicon? Oh, you need destabilized redstone. Oh, well, that's the reason we needed a magma crucible. Okay, I can manage that. Uh, what I'm gonna do I'm going to get rid of Mr. Squeezer here for a minute. And yes, I wasted a little bit of peanut seed oil. I'll live. Now, the deal is that we need 500 millibuckets of this. But I need to be able to transfer it easily, right? So I'm just going to get a bucket's worth and then bring it across, right? And if I have to wind up voiding half a bucket worth of five redstone, right? I'll, I'll live. It'll be okay, I promise. There we go, nice, wireless lasers, I like it. I'm gonna put these lasers all over here, so one, two, three, along with the battery, which I don't think I need at the moment. Uh, and my squeezer can go away for a minute. I saw the Kinect Dynamo and the Energizer and all that stuff, uh, which we'll you know poke around with in a bit. 
But that that gets me, um, you know, a nice Inori crystal block and a rare loot bag, which has nothing good in it as usual. Um, just, you know, an iron axe I can void and basically a tenth of an ingot of iron saddles. I don't know, I guess. I don't think that they're all that useful, but cool. All right, so now the next quest, funny enough, is something I already did this episode. It's a hardened upgrade kit. So I know I already made one, but that's okay. Uh, need eight invar plates, which I think I have some of. I have four. Okay, cool. So I just need a little bit more invar. Let's get two of you. And induction smelt, the two of you. That should be cool. Uh, what else do I need for a hardened upgrade kit? Uh, it's an engineer's workshop with liquid crystal and remember. Uh, four copper gears, two red alloy ingots, not too bad, right? Uh, I think we actually have everything we need, just the hammer and the spanner. Cool. And then uh, you guys turned into plates, right? Sweet. That won't be too bad. That's 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 an easy one, especially because we already got uh, this stuff, right? All right, shift click to destroy the liquid that's in there. Remember that. One, two. That's everything, right? I'm not forgetting something. Nope, just two more plates. One and two. Sweet. All right. That got me a liquid crystalline cell, which I'll put right in there, just to keep things nice and structured. All right, neat. Um, so that completes most of this line. So I assume if we want to get to main quest line number two, right, because none of these have these little, you know, things on them anymore. Um, like there's these, but they don't have it, right? These don't have it. That little symbol that indicates this is an important quest that gets you to the next chapter, right? Uh, so let's, I'm going to, I'm just going to knock out some of these real quick and see where uh, where it leads us, what Magic Compound is. We might record it, we might not, we'll find out. All right, so Magic Compound is basically two flowers of almost any kind, it would seem. Uh, a bucket of water, all right, that doesn't look too terrible, right? Am I missing something? A couple flowers. We'll do two sets of these, because why not? Uh, an appetite. Wow, do we really have that much appetite? I know I had found some a while back and I haven't really done much with it since. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, and I'll look for some in case we need more. Because I feel like, I don't know, if we're gonna need more of this or what the deal is, All right? So let's add you to the to-do and do the thing. Cool, so what's a magic compound do for me besides get me some corned beef hash, which I'm excited about? And common loot crate, that gets me some nonsense. Pure nonsense. Do you do this in this pack? You do. Well, that's nice. Cool. All right, alchemic. The basic condenser is a small multi-block structure used to brew early game elixirs. It requires retorts on the left and right side. The basic condenser can only brew recipes that require two ingredients and can't brew potent or extended elixirs. Interesting. So which mod is this from? Rustic? Okay, that doesn't look too bad. An alchemical retort. So we need two of these, right? So we need a bunch of bricks, which we should have some of, but we're gonna need more of, right? Remember, it's nine bricks per. Uh, so basically a stack of clay is about seven bricks, right? So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna need a lot of bricks there. We're gonna need 18 bricks. We're gonna need a, we're gonna need a real lot of bricks. That's that's what it comes down to. We're gonna need more clay probably than we currently have available to us at the moment. So I'm gonna go out in the world and find some. And uh, you know, hopefully that'll be good for us. Uh, besides that, you know, and apparently this is a required quest line to get to the end of this chapter. So let's go find some clay. Uh, what do we got going on here? Uh, I've got an efficiency three, unbreaking three, iron shovel. I kind of like that. I think that's what we'll use to mine up clay today. And uh, yeah, that sounds like a plan. So let's come back in a sec once I've found a healthy amount of clay, hopefully. All right, hopefully this is enough clay. <laughs> uh, so just gonna smelt up a bunch of this stuff. Nice. Just in time too, as my, as my other clay was finishing smelting. 
Okay, quest complete. First bucket. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, look at that. Way up there. Cool. Neat. That's nifty. Sweet. Hey, quest complete. Fresh water. Nice. Hey, I'll take some clay. Why not? Sure. Uh, not that that's the quest line we're actually working on. Uh, first fluid. Wood tank. Sure, I'll take that too. Look at that. Accidentally knocking stuff out. Bricks. I'll take it. Paper is the next quest for... That leads to food, which we do actually really want to look at at some point, right? Like, we do actually want to look into that at some point. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, but for now, we're cool, right? Um, I'll actually hang on to that clay in that form. Look at all these quests we're knocking out. Look at them all. So uh, that should be my alchemical condenser at the very least, right? Now we need a, a few more bricks and a couple iron plates. We might have a couple extra iron plates. We do. How are you guys doing, by the way? Not bad. Let's turn you into bricks. Cool. Okay. I'm going to put away you and you because I need the inventory space. Uh, and I probably can just void you because you're literally just water. Of which there is an infinite amount at all times, at any time, whenever you want it. So, not going to lose sleep over that. So I need two more wood tanks, which I need wood wood for. Like, actual wood. So two of you. Right? And then, uh... We should have enough for one. And we're missing five more. So we're getting there. That should be three more, right? Cool. So a little bit more smelting, and we should be good. Okay. That might be cool. Another retort, and that's the quest. Sweet. And we get a rare loot bag for that, which implies to me that we're getting towards the end of, uh, you know, what this quest line is. Because usually, once you get towards the end, right, you're cool. Herbs spawn naturally throughout the world and nether in a variety of different climates. Some herbs are edible, and all herbs can be used in alchemy. So that's cool. Cohosh and chamomile. So cohosh can be found in the world, and chamomile. I'm pretty sure we found chamomile, right? Uh, maybe not. Maybe we found it at some point. And then uh, what else do we need? Cohosh. Right, let's see if we have any of that stuff. I don't think so. Um, now, is that going to be just like straight up a flower? Or like, is it a block? Right, you know what I'm asking? Or is it like, am I going to find it? Like, ooh, good food. Yay. So chamomile and cohosh, huh? In a variety of climates. Chamomile. Sweet. Well, there's your chamomile, right? That's one. And now we need cohosh. Bark vines, wind thistles. Ah, uh, yeah. We might have a little exploration coming up in our future. That wasn't it, right? No, it's just a white tool from vanilla Minecraft. A thing I should know, right? <laughs> no. All right, how about we do this? Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next episode. I'll do a little bit of exploring between episodes, hopefully find what we're looking for. Uh, and if not, we'll also explore a little bit next episode because we were cooped up in our base all day today knocking out quests, which is fine. Uh, and it got us some really good progress, which I'm happy about. But, uh, you know, clearly we don't want to live in our base all the time. We want to explore and do things, right? And have a good time. So uh, we're going to do that probably next episode. And we also want to you know, flip around between magic and tech a little bit. So we definitely want to, we, we've done a lot of tech progress today, but I'm really hoping that we're getting close to the end of main quest line chapter one. And we also haven't touched at all on black magic. You know, like blood magic is cool. Evil craft is cool. I want to get into some of those mods as well and see what kind of good stuff we can come up with there. All right, for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. For now, take it easy. Oh, look, appetite, I think. <laughs>